क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the froze flotation process and now in this topic we are going to talk about leaching of alumina from bauxite so in this topic we are going to talk about that is how basically the alumina is extracted from the bauxite and by removing the impurities we can obtain the particular ore for that we can easily get a crude metal from that so this is what i am going to talk about so now let us understand what is leaching and what is actually leaching of alumina from bauxite So friends before understanding leaching of alumina from bauxite it is very much important for us to understand the term leaching so what is leaching let me talk about that so leaching is the process of extracting a soluble material from an insoluble solid by dissolving out in a suitable solvent so in this case basically we are going to talk about the leaching of alumina from bauxite that means we have to extract the soluble ore part and we have to that is eliminate the insoluble impurity and that is what this process is known as leaching but now we are going to talk about the leaching of alumina so leaching of alumina from bauxite is a two different method that is what we are going to talk about that is one is hall's process and the other is beer's process so what are these two process and how we can extract alumina from those bauxite this is what i am going to talk about in this topic so the first that is i am going to talk about is beer's process so beer's process is a method for the leaching of alumina from bauxite so in this case suppose we have a particular reaction that is what i am going to talk about because leaching is a chemical method of concentration of ore and that is how basically we can eliminate the impurity and we can obtain a particular ore which has a high tendency of or high that is quantity of metal so in this case the beers process is basically we have to treat the bauxite and that is nothing but al2o3 dot twice h2o so this is a pulverized ore means we have crushed this ore and this is a pulverized bauxite ore and this bauxite ore is basically treated with that is 2 moles of nh so whenever the reaction happens whenever the reaction happens with al2o3 two moles of h2 along with that of that is 2 moles of nh then the product that is what we could get is we see i would write it over here as that is Two moles of NaAlO2, that is known as sodium metaaluminate, along with that of three moles of H2. So therefore, this is a soluble part. But this soluble part has to be extracted, and that's the reason that whenever the further part, the further reaction is I'm going to talk about is whenever NaAlO2, that is sodium metaaluminate, is treated with water, that is two moles of H2 in this case. So therefore, the product that is what we could get is we could get NaOH and AlOH thrice, that is aluminium hydroxide. But this is not the final step that we are talking about. The thing is, we have to remove the impurity from the bauxite ore, and this is basically leaching. So the product that is what we have obtained is an aluminium hydroxide. So the thing is, this aluminium hydroxide, that is AlOH thrice. So in this case, I have to balance the reaction. So for balancing the reaction, I am multiplying. That is, I am taking two moles of AlOH thrice, and in that case, we have to heat it at a temperature of one four seven three Kelvin. So, in this case, the product that is what we could obtain is Al2O3 and three moles of H2. So, therefore, this is the product that is what we have got, and this Al2O3 is basically known as alumina. so here how we have obtained alumina by removing the impurity and this is bauxite basically so by removing the impurity we have obtained an alumina and this alumina would be further taken in a process where we can obtain a crude metal from it and that's the reason that this is known as leaching process and here is how basically we have removed the impurity so this was one of the method or one of the leaching method that is beers process and there is also another method that is known as hall's process let me talk about that also so friends talking about hall's process even this is the another method that is leaching of alumina from bauxite so in this case we have to consider that is al2o3 dot 2h2 and in this case this is basically the pulverized ore so now this pulverized ore is now treated with that is na2co3 so in the previous case that is in beers process we are treating al2o3 with naoh but in this case that is in hall process we are treating al2o3 dot 2h2o with na2co3 
So that's the reason that the reaction will occur in such a manner that as we would obtain sodium metaluminate, and that is nothing but I would write it over here as two moles of NaLO2 along with that of carbon dioxide and water. So this is basically a soluble part that is a soluble sodium aluminate or sodium metaluminate. So in this case, the previous reaction is we are treating sodium metaluminate with that is three moles of H2 along with that of that is CO2. So on the further process that is at a higher temperature, the product that is what we could obtain is again that is two moles of Al which thrives this is aluminum hydroxide this is the same product that is what we have obtained in step number two of the BS process and in this case the byproduct that is what we could obtain is Na2CO3 and in the second step of the wear process also we have obtained NaOH so the thing is the main thing is we have obtained that is two moles of AlOH thrice that is aluminum hydroxide but the thing is this is not the product that is what we need so that's the reason that what we are going to do is we are going to follow the third step of the beers process that is what we have did recently so in this case two moles of al oh thrice is heated so as to obtain that is al2o3 along with that of that is three moles of h2 So this is how basically we have obtained alumina from bauxite. So therefore, this was nothing but a topic related to leaching of alumina from bauxite and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel.